Clash Royale has forever changed their game with a brand new ladder system. And we are going to test the new number one best deck for all 20 arenas. Starting from arena one, working all the way up to arena 20. But I'm also going to do it at the top of ladder. Now to find the best deck, let me just go on my computer here on Royale API. Exclude all of these cards. And the best deck is... Giant? Goblin Hut. I mean, if this is the best Arena 1 deck, it has to work at the top of ladder. I I'm full sending, my friends. We're full sending. We're fully committing. Where's the fishy boy? Give me that fish man. Oh. We far block the hunter right now. Destroys the hunter. Destroys the fish man. Giant goes in there. Dude, Arena 1 deck for the win. That tower is going down. The Phoenix can't even save me, my friend, because that tower will not be resurrected. It is gone. It is dust. And we have ourselves a one crown lead. Uh, hold on one second here. I just had this overpowered monk uh, Phoenix coming in. Let me just defend this very quickly with my Arena 1 cards. And okay, it's... <laughs> Dude, it's so strong. All right, let's destroy the Phoenix. Does it resurrect? And there we are. Starting things off with a solid one crown victory. It's Mr. Patata. So let's see what Arena 2 has to offer. We now have access to the Bomber, Skeletons, Tombstone, and the Valkyrie. And we have another giant deck, but this time with Archers and the Goblin Cage. So if I start slow rolling here with a giant right lane, what do you all suppose happens? We're gonna go in with the archers on here. He probably has an arrows. Probably not because he's got poison. A tombstone goes down. There's the poison. Musketeer. Can you do your thing, my friend? Destroy the Delton King. Does he go ability here? Wait, arrows is back here. <gasps> Yo, we can go with the mini packer right now. Mini packer, please. Run to the tower. This is an arena two gameplay right here. This is arena two gameplay. Mini packer musketeer at the bridge, and it somehow works. Arena two gameplay. Give us the win. Mini back at Musketeer at the bridge. Three crowning feels pretty good at 7,000 trophies with an Arena 2 deck. I mean, he did lead the battle. So get into Arena 3 unlocks the Mighty Cannon, the Barbarians, the Mega Minion, and the Battle Ram. Come on, Mini Pekka. Destroy the Bennett first and then the Hog Rider. Yo, Minis go down, please. Oh, two Hog Shots. Spicy arrow, but the Inferno is dead and we're not out of this battle yet. I go Valkyrie here, right side with the Musketeer. And a mini P.E.K.K.A. Is that a vibe? Where's your Skarmy? Skarmy. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Mini P.E.K.K.A. in there, please. Mini P.E.K.K.A. to the tower. Go, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Go. One shot, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Two shots, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Musketeer locks on. He pull the, uh, Mega it away with my giant. Mini's here for the Infernal Dragon. Musketeer is going to pound town on that tower. And all we need to do is go Barbarians for this Hog Rider. And it should destroy it. Come on, Giant. Get there. Get there, Giant. Get there, Giant. One shot. We can win against Shooting Star with the power of an Arena 3 deck. I don't even know how we just won that. But that was insane. Moving on to Arena 4. Unlocks the Electro Spirit, Skeleton Dragons, Fire Spirit Bomb Tower, Infernal Tower, and the Wizard. <laughs> That tower left lane is going down, but the giant right side, maybe that tower left lane is not going down. No, it's not. Okay, well, turns out giant graveyard is stronger than a, um, whatever the freak I just did for a push. <laughs> oh, fireball value here, though. We get the archer queen, get the minions. I need one giant shot, please. Mm, bonk. Come on, Ava. Come on, archers. No, not enough time, eh? Bro, about a few more seconds here, we just win. Come on, Mixteer. One shot. No, nope. oh, do <laughs> Oh, bro. All right, enough of that giant beatdown shenanigans. What do we have here for Arena 5? Zap, motor, bats, rocket, fly machine, and the hog rider. And we can now build a very similar deck to 2.6 hog cycle. We have a Valkyrie and a Musketeer right side of the arena here going in with the Valkyrie first. Can we arrows down something? I'm gonna go arrows instead of fireball because it allows the Musketeer to finish off the Infernal faster, keeping our hog rider alive. Firebird goes in, supports the Musketeer. Musketeer logs on. And this is the push that wins the game. Hog rider Musketeer at the bridge. Yo, those arrows were clutch. And you know what this calls for? A celebration. <laughs> Hog Rider going in. Arrows going down. Do you have an Infernal Dragon? He's got a Phoenix. Come on, Hog Rider. One. No, no, no. That wasn't going to happen. But we still win. Not really a three crown, but a win is a win. And there we are unlocking a brand new arena with an Arena 5 deck. But enough Arena 5. We need Arena 6. If he has Nato, we're 1,000% dead here. The Hog Rider is just decimating that tower, though, eh? <gasps> 
You know he's got the NATO. Oh no. NATO that in, please? Please NATO it. No! I need a NATO! Oh, no NATO yet! Oh! Are we good? Oh, we're vibing here! I don't know if you call this vibing because we're losing right now, but uh. Ah. I would say, you know what? We're not dead. We're not dead. If we go Inferno, then we can go with Skeletal Army right now. It was at this moment that he. No! I knew he was gonna do that! Oh, that tower's gone. That's okay. That's okay. That's not okay. We can still win. We can still win. Boys and girls, we can still win here. Don't worry. We have the ability to still come back and win this game. Oh, no. He's not back to win arrows yet, is he? I don't think so. I don't think so. Goblins here, please. Goblins here. Come on, Goblins. Stab away. Goblins jab. Bop, 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 bop. Arrows, maybe give me the electric, please. Yes, sir. Oh, we're surviving. We are surviving over here. Destroy the toxic Phoenix. Destroy the toxic whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's toxic, and we're winning. Just play, my friends, okay? Hog. Deep Goblins. Skull time in the middle. That's how we win the game. Let's see if Clash Rail. We go Skeleton Army. We go Goblin Barrel. We go Hog Brander. And we win. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Whoa. We go Valkyrie Hog Rider. Instant guaranteed victory. There's no way he stops this. Dude. Arena 5 deck for the win. Let's go. Destroy a toxic Phoenix Eagle. I don't know how he just won that. But it doesn't even matter. Arena 5 deck destroys. I was actually an Arena 6 deck. Moving on to Arena 7 unlocks these cards. And I already have the perfect deck in mind. Oh, bomb tower's back. Well, the RG destroys your bomb tower. We arrows down your dark goblin. RG finishes the bomb tower off. Boom. Bada boom, bada bing. It's in there. Watch out for that tower, please, RG. Bop. <laughs> and now we have time to go in with the hog rider because we baited out the, the defensive response. RG goes in. That's a hog rider, Shane. Oh, <laughs> who's keeping track? One more hog shot. Let's go. He does have fast cycle, which doesn't even matter for us because we can go in with the Hog Rider right here, right now. And even if he goes Bomb Tower, we... Oh, we missed the fireball. <laughs> I thought he was gonna go in the middle. Why would he go Bomb Tower there? That's okay though, because now we can go in with the Royal Giant of Destruction. Come on, RG, my friends. We go Phoenix on my RG. We should Dark Oven. We arrows it down. The Monk should push back my, my RG, right? Oh, but we get some RG shots, let's go. We go Hog Rider right here, pushes back the Barbarian. Distracts the Barbarian, forces out a Bomb Tower. Where's your Bomb Tower, buddy? Where's your Bomb Tower? Where's your Bomb Tower? Ooh. One Hog Shot and a Fireball is all we need, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Dude! Yo! How did you lose that? And what better way to celebrate Frozen Peak than with a Frozen Giant Skeleton Hog deck? All I gotta say is, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this deck. If we can actually destroy that Mega Knight and go Hog Rider here, did the power of the giant bomb destroy it? Yo, we destroyed the hog raider. Come on, destroy the bats as well, please. Bop. Nice snowball, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Hog raider goes in there. The witch surrounds and overwhelms the dark prince. Yeah, not really. Oh, and there's a goblin drill. But guess what? I got a dark prince. Ready? Wait, three. There we go. Let's go. Dude, the minions go so much damage. Dark prince goes in here, destroys the goblin drill. No damage done. The dark prince should get a charge off if it doesn't respond to with anything. And yes, it does. That's all I needed. He might go in with a goblin drill. Any moment now. Oh, yes. Go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Got this back right here. There. Go press this down. Let's go. Which survives right now. Which is surviving. Which is a survivor. He wastes a snowball. He wastes a snowball. We can go in with the hog rider and the minions. Right lane. He can't, he can't answer both sides. That Dark Prince is charging one way or another. We freeze the Dark Prince down. We zap down its wall breakers. And the Hog Rider goes in and deals the devastating blow to that tower. Hog Rider goes in there. There's the Goblin Drill of Desperation. Midi's going down. And a Snowball goes down. And we still freeze it. And the Hog Rider still destroys. Let's go, Mr. Brown. It's time for Arena 9. We can't even defend that. We're going to go counter press right now. We're going to go Dark Prince right lane with the power of the regular Prince as well to force him to spend his elixir on defense and not on offense. There is a Skeleton King, but he misplaces it. The Prince goes in, charges onto that tower, and doesn't destroy it by itself with the power of one Princey boy. Well, the answer is a big ol' yes, it does. All right, so uh, if I go a, a well-timed fireball here, destroys the left side. Oh, no. What do we have for the right lane? Oh, no, no, no. Um... Yep, that tower's gone. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. That's fine. It was, in fact, not fine. Drop a giant going down. Dark Prince for a tombstone. No, tombstone. He debated me. He debated me. Where's your tombstone, buddy? You're supposed to tombstone me. 
I swear this deck is it's a good deck. I just he's supposed to go tombstone. Oh, okay, yeah. When things don't work out the way they're supposed to, my friends, that's uh, okay. Okay, yep. I would have won that if you would have went tombstone. Guaranteed. This deck's really good. It's user error. Uh, yeah. Oh. No, we're dead. I'm sorry, Jungle Arena. I let you down. It's not you, it's me. But moving on to Hog Mountain, where we now unlock the Elite Barbarians. And we're not gonna use them because apparently the highest rated deck is Royal Recruits Blood Lane Control. I see now. Yo, that left lane. You all see that left lane there? The recruits just destroyed. I didn't even see it. I was focusing on the giant right side. But let's go Barbell here, left lane. It forces out a, a, a response of some variety, right? Prince, giant. Oh, regular Prince, go. Now we can go in recruits. We can go giant in front of that princey boy. We can go in recruits over here. No, no, giant. Okay. You give me your fireball then? Yes. Give me that fireball, baby. Give me that fireball, because I'm going to go Fly Machine here with the Peggy Army left button. There's no way he responds to both sides of the arena, and that is the strength of this strategy, is dominating two lanes at the exact same time. Bar build for this wizard here. We pull the Phoenix to the opposite lane with my Zappy. That was intended, by the way. That was 100% calculated. The pigs get some damage done. Zappies destroy the Phoenix. Yes, sir, the pigs are devouring. And with two heavy spells, this game is basically over because all we need is a Fireball and an Arrows to secure the win. Goblin Cage here. Can we destroy this giant, though? That's the question right now. Can we destroy this giant? Giant, get out of my face, buddy. Go Fireball right now. On defense. On defense. Boom. Missed the Phoenix, obviously, just for reasons. And we go. He's going to Fireball that back. Yo, he's so aggressive. He's so aggressive. Look at the right lane. Look at the Zappy right side. Yo. All right, Zappy. Try to put in the work, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think he knows he's done for us. Let's go arrows right here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, one HP and GG's. Yo. The right side was 2 HP as well? What? And now we unlock Electro Valley, or as I prefer to call it, Legendary Valley, because it's got eight legendaries in total. Yep, we're using Mega Knight Sparky Bait. But Shane, that's not the best deck. Wait till you see what it's about to do. Oh, Hog Rider, Hog. Okay, Mega Knight goes down, knocks the Hog Rider away. He will get one Hog Shot to our tower, but that's okay, because now we have the power of a full health Mega Knight on the counter push. He does not have a lock spell, so maybe, just maybe, this push succeeds. He's got a Valkyrie of his own, and an Executioner destroys some of the goblins, but the Mega Knight jumps onto the Executioner. Let's go, baby. Everyone who doubted me saying, Shane, this deck ain't it, Chief. What do you think? We're not even a minute into this battle. And we already have a one tower lead. Now, I know what you're thinking, Shane. He probably has a rocket in there. Well, yes, but actually, yes. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, the power of a Mega Knight bait with Sparky. But we just unlocked the best card in Clash Royale history. So you know what we have to do. Does the Zappies destroy this? Do I need Zappies? Do I even need Zappies? Oh, yeah, we, do. we need Zappies. We need this happy army right now. Yo, if I go Phoenix right now to bridge for this. Oh, is that mirror? Yo, he's so low in the lecture. Why would he mirror down the arrows for just zappies? It's literally just zappies, my friends. It's not a Phoenix. Now there's a Phoenix here. What are you going to do for this? You have no arrows. You have no mirror. You have a dead tower. That's what you have. Why would you mirror the arrows? You have to get ready for Phoenix time, my friend. Panda Joan. Good game. Rascal's Hideout. I wonder what the best deck could be. And I wonder if we'll see another Phoenix. We will. We'll see another Phoenix. If I go in with a Prince over here right side. And then... Honestly? Got this down over here right lane. Boom. Prince destroys, right? Destroys the Monk. We go Phoenix over here right side for the uh, minions. We ignore the Wizard. We sacrifice Tower HP for a stronger push right lane. The Phoenix goes in. The Giant goes in. And what does he have as a response? Well, my friend, the answer is absolutely nothing. You know what he has? He has a dead tower. That tower is destroyed. Phoenix devours. Tower goes down. One crown lead. We haven't even really used the Devil Prince yet. It's just Phoenix deck. Where's your Goblin Gang? Goblin Gang, Goblin Gang. Is that the down, please? Pop. 
He's got a golem barrel of his own? Yo, you know he's desperate when he drops a golem barrel on defense. The prince destroys the mini pika. Electro wizard is still alive. Feet is going down. And do we get the three crown? Two princes, one phoenix, one electro wizard. And there we go with the instant three crown victory. Pretty powerful deck. And we are on to surrender his peak. And I already know exactly what I'm going to use. We can go battle healer, pull the infernal away to the right side. Heal spirit here. And the night witch left side gets his bat spawning out. Less than ideal. Let's, oh, we got a free spell, too. Might be fine here. He doesn't have any though in hand. He's low on elects here. We destroy his tower. We're back in it. We're back in it. Oh, he wasted Nato. I mean, that's okay. It could be better. We save our elects here for a potential right lane. Oh, he's going to go right lane. Okay. He's going all in for the three crown, buddy. I like your free spell, I do, but the Phoenix is going to devour this, and maybe we 3 crown the counter push here. What do y'all figure? He looks good on up front. Range it all down. He's got a bullet coming in hot. Then we go Electro Dragon for the after the free spell goes down. Bro. What are the chances that three throw on Eagle of Night Witch and we instantly face Executioner, Bowler, NATO, and Freeze? But well, moving on to our last non champion arena. Miner's mine. Is it saying that the miner owns the mine, or is it saying that the miner's mine there in the mine? So he's going all in, opening play with a miner goblin king right lane, and it's got the king left lane. Can we capitalize on this aggressive with the balloon right side of the arena and potentially a. He wastes your lecture on the ability. Oh, can I go freeze on the Phoenix, please, Clash Roy? It's too late. We take one balloon shot. It's better than nothing. Plus, we get death damage as well. How much it goes in right side of the arena? Do I want to go bowler as well? Uh, we, 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 I mean, we have to. He's got goblins coming in hot. How much that goes down? I kind of drop a Phoenix into this egg right now. Balloon into the rage bell. Is he going to fireball? Let's start coming out of here. Yoink. Get out of here. Bubble goes down. We freeze the goblin gang. Boom. Balloon's still alive. And the uh, Phoenix destroys. We had a couple shots to that tower there. Is it really worth it? We can go in with a balloon into this rage spell. We freeze down whatever phoenix he drops down. Barbell down for the goblin gang. Miss something. Miss one of the goblins for some reason. Because I'm a noob. But does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter? It does not. He fireballed on defense. Why would he fireball on defense? Now for both Arena 16 and Arena 17, with all the champions, the best deck is actually the same. And it's this Skeleton King Graveyard deck. I'm going Graveyard opening play, terrible. Oh man, I wish I didn't go Graveyard opening play. I mean, maybe it works out. Maybe it works out. There's a 3% probability. We do deal a thousand damage, but at what cost, you say? At what freaking cost? Let's poison down the oh, Musketeers plus the Phoenix. We have to go in with a Barb Bear. Actually, you know what? Goblin might be a better response. Oh, Barb Bear. Barb Bear did this. Destroys the Heal Spirit first, then destroys the Musketeer. And somehow, some way, we actually, we're not in damage lead, but we're not dead. We're gonna go in with a Graveyard here, counter push. Um, and then maybe poison some people's tier in action. What do you got for this, buddy? You got some people's tears over here? Oh, a Phoenix. Mm, surprise, surprise, it's a Phoenix deck. <laughs> Yo, if I go a Billiard right now, what happens? What do we get done here? We got one, it's got the King Attack, two, it's got the King Attack. Tower goes down. The ability was worth it. The white got the King goes in, finishes that tower off, and Dragon Buster down one tower. Oh, dude. Come over here, Mr. Tombstone. We barbell this back, and then honestly, we just destroy. And easy as that, Dragon Buster, the master of Moro, getting destroyed. And that leads us to the final arenas. 18, 19, and 20, all having access to the exact same cards. Leading us to the ultimate strategy in all of Clash Royale. Royal Giant, Monk, and Phoenix. All right, Archer Queen, what do you have for... Oh, we don't have the Monk right now. Archer Queen is coming in hot. We're gonna go Log Spell and a... Mother Witch? This is all we can really do. Zap is going down as well. We wasted way too much election right now. And we have nothing left for this Hogwarts Goblins right lane. We have to go in with the Fireball. Fireball goes down. And that is a massive amount. Oh my goodness. One more hog shot. That's okay. We're not out of this battle quite yet. We still have a 1,900 HP on our tower right lane. And that is greater than zero. So we still have a chance. We're going to go Monk over here. Monk ability. Destroys the Arch Queen. There's another Hogwarts. Okay. Let's go King Tractivation. Fisherman here. And yoink. And yoink. King Tower is now activated. Oh no. That's supposed to be a long spell. That was not supposed to be a Mother Witch. That's supposed to be a long spell. Yo. Okay. Okay. My goal right now is to get the monk in front of the Royal Giant to hopefully destroy the Archer Queen. 
Monk goes in here. We can Fisherman away the Giant Skeleton out of the way of Yoink. our Royal Giant. And then we go Monk ability. Monk ability destroys the Archer Queen. Bro, the Archer Queen destroyed herself. The RG's going in. The Monk's still alive. Yo, the Archer Queen destroyed herself with the Monk ability. And now we have the RG going in, decimating that tower. If we can pull the Giant Skeleton away from the right lane, we can take one more RG in here. We pull the Giant Skeleton out of the way, clear the way for the Royal Giant. We fireball back this bomb tower. Mother Witch locks on. RG, come on. Destroy that tower, my friend. One shot. Please, buddy. I need one second fireball to win. One more RG shot. Yo, how did we turn the tides of battle in this battle? The Monk ability destroyed the Archer Queen and gave us so much value to turn the tides of battle, clearing the way for victory. And Juni going down to a one-crown victory.